Action Studios Internet is back up in California. Thank you, whoever turned it off. It's not us. Uh, Byron York of the Washington Examiner, Fox News contributor, joins me. Good morning, Byron. I Good just morning, finished Andrew. a rundown with Ben Dominich of all the appointees giving letter grades. I want to do the same with you, but at a forced march. Marco Rubio. Uh, I'm, I get a letter grade? Yeah. Okay, that's an A. Pete Hegseth. Um, a B. Doug Burgum at, at Interior. And if you say other than A+, plus, I'm going to flush you down the toilet because he's the greatest thing. I hate the Department of Interior. I, I litigated with them until I retired. They need top-to-bottom reform. What do you think? Well, in that case, I think I should say A+. Plus. There you go. Uh, so Mike Waltz, and I always disclose, my son works for him. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I think that's an A for that job. Susie Wiles, Chief of Staff. So far, so good. I give her an A as well. I do not know Mr. McGinley. Do you? No. Okay, no. so we're incomplete. John Radcliffe, CIA. Uh, I think it's another A, especially since he served as ODNI before. Right. Lee Zeldin, EPA. Uh, I'll give that an A. I, I do too. Elise Stefanik. Um, I'll give that an A as well. You know, the uh, Ben Dominic said he wants to give her an A plus, but he want he, he'll miss her in the house at the. But the UN needs someone like Elise Stefanik, Mister Homan, who I have no opinion of, but Ben gave an A to, uh, as borders are. Oh, um, I I like actually uh, I like Tom Homan. I think I hope he gets to do what he plans to do. So I give him an A. I gave an A plus to Todd Blanche. I don't know him. I've interviewed him at length. Southern District of New York. Annie McCarthy says really smart, good lawyer. As the deputy attorney general, he runs the building and he runs everything. I think he'll end up being attorney general. What do you think? Uh, I agree with that, and I'll give him an A. Uh, Doug Collins at the Veterans Administration. I know him a little bit. I gave him an A. Ben gave him an A. What do you think? Yeah, same thing. Uh, Christy Noem, I gave an incomplete. I don't know her, and I know DHS is a nightmare. What do you think, Byron? Um, that could be a difficult uh, task, but on the other hand, she's been a member of Congress. She's been the governor of uh, South Dakota, and so I think that she's uh, pretty well qualified for this. I have no opinions on Tulsi Gabbard and RFK. I'm waiting for the hearings, but uh, Ben Dominich reported he knows Tulsi very well and gave her an A. And I, I, you know, I just don't know. So many people are having heart attacks. I just don't know. What do you think? Well, I, I do not know her. Um, and I, I'm a little troubled by this one. And um, I, I certainly would not give her an A, but I'm not sure exactly what grade it would be. RFK, I gave an incomplete to because, you know, HHS can't be managed by man nor beast. Well, uh, this, it's situation, a, this is a situation where people are saying, you know, boy, if he really, if he... Uh, if he concentrates on nutrition and food additives and all of that stuff, it could be really great. Um, but, you know, hopefully he won't go into vaccines. I, I have no idea what he will do uh, in this job. So, I mean, he could do an A job and he could really do a, a, a D job as well. I, I don't really, I can't. I trust the Senate. I trust the Senate. It's a great institution. Let's move to my least favorite. Matt Gates, and it's not because of the rumors and the innuendo. I don't believe any of that stuff because that happens all the time in D.C. He, my friend is Kevin McCarthy of 35 years, so I do not like Matt Gates because Kevin McCarthy built the machine, he built the House majority, and Matt Gates blew it up. That's why I don't like well, Matt Gates. What do you I, think? I said on, on Fox, on, on special reports, uh, I mean, the, the day it was made, it was just a, t a terrible choice. I think it's just a terrible choice for Attorney General. Um, I don't think and, he'll make it to hearings, do you? I'm not clear. We're seeing conflicting reports about this. But uh, as far as I was thinking, look, I don't know what's in the ethics report. It might be consequential. I don't know. But I do know that he was extremely aggressive in uh, actions that nearly destroyed the uh, Republican majority in the House. And I thought it was amazing that he wasn't expelled from the Republican Party. That's what uh, I thought. Now let me so let anyway, me ask you this as well. Anyway, if you're a Republican, a if you're a Republican running in 2026, uh, if you vote for Matt Gates, it will be a campaign ad, and if you vote against him, it'll be a primary ad. So just in term pure political terms, what do those 20 Republican senators do? Well, you 
We have, um, I know Murkowski has come out and said, first of all, um, Gates would have to lose four Republicans right. in the Correct. full Senate to not Correct. get confirmed. Um, Murkowski said she won't vote for him. I, I think Collins wouldn't vote for him. Uh, you have to remember Bill Cassidy uh, is one of the, uh, other than those two, he's the only other senator still, Republican senator still in the House who voted to convict Trump in the second impeachment. Um, so it looks like he's probably not looking for favors from Trump. So my guess is that he would be a no. So I, I, I think you could And find Mark Wayne no Mullins president. is on record uh, when he was a member of the House with some harsh yeah. stuff. Exactly. Mark Wayne Mullins was very, very uh, critical of him. So, so that's you know, four. It's going to be hard to that, Well, that's four right now. That kills it right there with with uh, unified Democratic opposition, which there will be. But if there's uh, although, if there's a you know, if there's a I don't know con- why the Democrats don't like him. I mean, he worked with Nancy Pelosi and, and Hakeem Jeffries huh. to bring down the Republican Speaker of the House. Two hundred eight yeah. Democrats plus Matt Gates. Uh, thwarted the will of 210 Republicans. So uh, I, 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 I will never get over destroying Kevin McCarthy, the most gifted political operator of my lifetime, who all he wanted to do was run the House for the benefit of the Republican majority. Mike Johnson's doing a good job, but I would guess a bunch of Republican senators, don't put it in writing, they just get together with Donald Trump and say, withdraw. I, I do think that would be the way. If, if this problem turns out to be a big problem for Trump. I think the way to do that, that's exactly it. Also, you know, we haven't talked about the complexities of uh, recess appointments, and there's been a lot of speculation in the press about this. But, you know, the, the, the Senate and the House have to recess for, for 10 days. And it first of all, it requires um, the buy-in of, of all the senators and the senators that we just mentioned who are going to oppose this nomination are not going to uh, support going into recess so it could be sneak he could be sneaked into office. Uh, and let me tell you another thing Byron which is a legal thing. A legal thing. Sorry? If you read Noel Canning, which is the 9-0 decision of the Supreme Court on why Barack Obama's recess appointments were no good at the National Labor Relations Board and why the decisions rendered by the no good appointees at the National Labor Relations Board which were recess appointees they were all invalid. Uh, if uh, Attorney General Gates is appointed by recess appointment. Every decision he makes, everyone, will be subject to being overturned by virtue of that decision. And you read the concurrence from Scalia, it says uh, the recess appointment is only for intercession recess. I'm not sure I agree with that, but a pro forma, um, a makeup recess appointment, that's like asking for the constitutional Thelma and Louise drive. <laughs> I think you're absolutely right about that. So I think. I think all of this talk about recess appointment is just talk in the press. So I don't think that's going to happen. So, look, it's a, it's a very troubled nomination uh, already and a lot of speculation about why Trump did it. Uh, I don't know. Usually the simplest um, explanation is the best. Uh, he, he wants Matt Gates to be the attorney general. Yeah. Um, but it could be, you know, it, it faces a really tough, tough road. And he's using up political capital. Uh, I think, by the way, if Matt Gates is withdrawn, Todd Blanche steps up in the John Roberts move. If I recall correctly, uh, the chief justice had been nominated as associate justice when Sandra Day O'Connor yeah, announced her retirement. Minutes. And then Justice Rehnquist, Chief Justice Rehnquist died. And the George W. Bush said, OK, John Roberts has gone through. He's the chief. And we're going to send you up Sam Alito. I think that's what happened. And I think that's what's going to happen here. We're going to just elevate Todd Blanche to be the AG and come up with a new DAG. Let me ask you about Treasury, Commerce, and OMB, the big three that are left. I have no opinions other than the OMB director has got to support a defense build up and not argue about nickels and dimes. What do you think? <laughs> well, um, there, look, a, a lot of the Republican base has, is extremely concerned about government spending. Um, he needs to, uh, he, President Trump, needs to have somebody who uh, wants to limit federal spending. And I understand what you're saying about a defense buildup. Um, But um, there's got to be somebody who's pushing for more efficiency in government beyond the Department of Government Efficiency. And so that might be a place to do it. I, I, I would say everywhere but defense, go for it. 
And uh, Byron York, I'll be watching you on Fox News tonight. I'm going on vacation for a week. I hope you get one. After every election, every four years, I take a week off once the dust settles. And McCormick is one. What? But it, to, in, in less than a minute, Byron, because I got to do some work here. What in the world is Bob Casey doing? I have no idea. Would you say the dust has settled? I don't think the dust has settled yet. Well, I mean um, on the election. But, Trump won overwhelmingly. In, uh, in Pennsylvania, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, Casey obviously is, uh, has, has had a long career, family, and all of this stuff, and it, and it just looks terrible. And, it, and it, you can only think that, well, maybe Mark Elias and Democrats are trying to establish precedents for for counting all sorts of votes that le- legally can't be counted, so they could use it in the future or something. It makes no sense. This race is over. Obviously, uh, McCormick has gone through the orientation. I mean, yeah. he's going to be the senator yeah. on January the 3rd, and that's just all there is to it. 